Good morning Form 2. Today we will be looking at the Statement of Net Worth. Most of you have already completed the Statement of Net Worth, but I just want to revise it in case you forgot. The Statement of Net Worth indicates how wealthy a person is. It can also indicate how poor a person is. Businesses use the Statement of Net Worth to calculate how much they are worth or how much the business is worth. The business needs to know whether it owns more than what it owes. Okay, what are assets? You should know. You should all be answering this question without the definition being provided. Assets are items of value that we own. They belong to us. For example, if you own a house, your house is an asset. If you own a car, your car is an asset. If you have money in the bank, the money in the bank is an asset. What are liabilities? Liabilities is money that we owe to other people. If you have a loan, you borrowed money from your father, you owe your father money. That is a liability. If you borrowed money from your gran, you owe her money. So that is a liability. Your parents might own a house but they owe the bank money for that house that is a liability if you buy clothes from Uzi and you and you buy it on credit you owe Uzi money so that is a liability so how do we calculate how rich you are how do we calculate your net worth you take your assets Everything that you own minus your liabilities. Everything that you owe. All the money that you owe to others. So to calculate net worth, we say assets minus liabilities. Another name for net worth is what we, is what we call equity. So instead of us saying assets minus liabilities is equal to net worth, we could also say Assets minus liabilities is equal to equity. In the case of a business, we say owner's equity. So what would increase your wealth? All the income that you receive would increase your wealth. So if you wash the dishes for your mom and she promises to pay you 50 Rand uh, for the week, then that would be your income. If you receive a pocket money, uh, if you receive pocket money every month or every week, that would be your income. What do you think is income in the case of a business? I'm going to leave you to think about it. So what would decrease your wealth? All expenses that you pay out would decrease your wealth. You need to eat. So your grocery bill is an expense. You need a roof over your head. You need to pay rent. Your rent is an expense that needs to be paid out. Examples of personal income and expenses. So you can read that on your own. Right, let's talk about a business now. A business also owns assets like buildings, equipment, vehicles. The business also has money in the bank. Those are assets that the business owns. The business needs, sometimes needs to borrow money to buy a building or to buy a car. And that would be liabilities for the business. So, a business has assets just like you and your parents do. The business has liabilities just like you and your parents do. So, what increases the business's equity? In other words, let us see how we calculate how rich, how wealthy a business is. Firstly, the owner has to put money into a business. We call this investment capital. The business operates because it wants to sell something, either a service or some goods. And the money that the business generates from selling goods or providing the service is called income. So a business increases its equity by having capital and income. So what causes a business, 
a business's equity to decrease. It decreases when the owner takes money out of the business for personal use. So if an owner withdraws money from a business's bank account, that means that his equity is decreasing. Whenever the owner has to pay for items from the pay out for uh, out for items from the business, for example, water and electricity, the business's equity will decrease. Here are some examples of income and expenses that a business might have. I'll give you a minute to have a squiz at them. Okay, what does the business do with the money that it receives? The business, is, the business could buy assets. The business needs a building. So the owner invests capital into the business. The, business uses, the owner uses that capital to buy a building. The business also pays for liabilities. Maybe the owner didn't have enough money to buy the building, so he had to borrow additional funds. So the business also has to pay those liabilities back. The business also needs to pay for expenses. So the money that the business receives is also paid out for expenses and to pay for liabilities. How does the business measure how successful it is? Firstly, it needs to calculate its profits. Once the business calculates its profits, the owner can then calculate what it is worth. So, as you all know, that the reason that people open businesses in the first place is because they want to make a profit. Nobody goes into business thinking, oh, I need to lose money today. No, everybody wants to be a winner. So they want to make as much profit as they can. How do we calculate profit? We take our income, minus our expenses, and we get profit. How do we calculate owner's equity for a business? I'm sure you know the answer to that. Yes, you do. Tell me what the answer is. Sure, I agree with you. Owner's equity is equal to assets, minus liabilities. But there's also another way to calculate what the owner is worth. Remember that the owner put money into the business. The owner also calculated his profit and the owner took money out of the business. So when you take your capital plus your profit minus your drawings, you can also calculate owner's equity in a business. We call this the accounting equation. So the accounting equation can be read in three different ways. It can say assets is equal to owner's equity plus liabilities. Owner's equity is equal to assets minus liabilities. Or liabilities is equal to assets minus owner's equity. You're just rearranging the values in each section 